as a, a leading krill oil, krill oil manufacturer, what makes um, that product different than other suppliers? Well, first of all, we're not just krill oil manufacturers. We're the manufacturers of lipid-based ingredients, and we have been doing that for over uh, 10, 12 years. Uh, we have uh, very high technological expertise in the, in the field of lipid and lipid extraction. And actually, we also show that our creole oil, uh, because it goes through a second purification step that we call MSO, multi-step uh, extraction, uh, we um, empty it from all kinds of pollutants and molecules that exist in other creole oil. And uh, these uh, molecules that we remove help the krill be, first of all, free from all kind of amine compounds like TMA and TVN, which give krill oil the smell of, of um, spoiled fish on one hand. On the, other, on the other hand, it also helps to keep the krill oil um, steady and, and uh, help the shelf life of many of the active components in the krill oil. What are some of the things that you do with the krill oil? How does that impact the uh, efficacy of the product? Well, um, we actually just finished uh, a, a clinical study, and even though I can't discuss in details the results of the clinical study yet, uh, they're confidential, but I can say that we did test our krill oil versus fish oil, and it's the first study that shows that krill oil bioavailability of EPA and DHA uh, is much higher than fish oil, and we show that in a way that nobody else showed it before. And I believe that this has to do a lot with our fish oil, with our krill oil, sorry. You're here at the conference to discuss the latest results from a clinical trial. Mm -hmm. uh, what have you clinically tested on your krill? Uh, so we compared uh, bioavailability of krill oil to fish oil and to placebo. We looked at the absorption of EPA and DHA and omega-3 in the blood of healthy subjects from uh, North America. The study was uh, done in Canada. Mm -hmm. And uh, we looked, we compared the absorption in the blood. We looked at plasma and red blood cells and we compared the absorption after consumption of krill for four weeks and fish oil for four weeks. Uh, another important thing about our study is that we have used creole oil and fish oil that have the exact amount of omega-3 in both treatments, which was also not done before. And why did you choose that design? Well, then, because sorry. you can't, if you want to run a, a clinical study and you want your results to be significant and you want to learn something from this test, you have to compare apples to apples. Mm. So you have to have the two treatments equal in order to learn if one of them is absorbed better. And also the study was held to the highest standards, being a double-blind, placebo-controlled, randomized study. And therefore, of course, the treatment had to be identical so people will not know what treatments they are receiving. Mm -hmm. and so what are the main results from that trial and, and what sort of implications can we take away from for everyday well, life? Well, as I said, I, I'm, I unfortunately cannot discuss the results uh, right now because they're still confidential. But I can only say that the results were quite striking. Uh, uh, Creel oil was shown to be superior to fish oil in almost every parameter. And uh, I think this is an indication that creel oil is more beneficial to your health. And if anyone is interested in increasing their omega-3 index, they should definitely be taking creel oil. Can you uh, explain or go into what you're planning for the future with your product? Well. Um, so we have, uh, besides, of course, continuing to do our, you know, this is my side of the story, mm -hmm. doing more science and more research and, and studying more about the benefits of creel oil, we are also uh, going into uh, uh, high, higher grades, like high potency grades of creel oil. It's uh, something that we would like to, um, to have and to also study. One of the differences between Enzymatec and other manufacturers is actually the fact that we have more than just one grade of krill oil. There is the pure krill oil, which is only a solid krill, but uh, we also have other, other grades of krill oil, which are we call high potency. And we actually, and, and in this uh, type of grades, are very special because we use our technology uh, knowledge, know-how, 
and we actually managed to maintain the same concentration of phospholipids that come from the krill oil with the EPA DHA attached to them and then enhance the amount of triglycerides and, and increase the level of EPA and DHA. And we're actually also looking at another study uh, where we are going to test and to see the difference between the uh, high potency and the pure krill, which will be very interesting and hopefully will have results in a few months from now. Um, besides that, we also have a second generation krill, which is actually phosphatidyl serine, which is derived from krill. As you know, as I said, krill oil is basically phospholipids and it's primarily phosphatidyl choline. Well, we know how to take phosphatidyl choline from krill and turn it into phosphatidyl serine. And we also tested it already in the past on children with uh, attention deficit uh, and hyperactivity disorder. And we showed that this uh, ingredient is helpful in, uh, in you know, helping those kids to be more calm and to, be, and to concentrate, to be more focused.